morning everyone how are you how are we all just getting your comments up hello 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 right let's see who have we got we are um good morning laurie always first <laughs> are you on youtube all the time laurie um and julie burrows nova blackburn good morning elizabeth Tandall, helen stancer kobe from australia hello um angela mitchell good morning there's lots of you about this morning uh tiny dirt potato what's your real name not that i'll remember i'm terrible with remembering names but good morning therese hello to you uh, all well and happy today absolutely and claire good morning hi deborah i'm over on facebook now hello deborah um vicky good morning to you do, 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 do. lynn price and viv Gaines. so how are you all doing are we all having a good week so far the sun's not brilliant is it? the weather's not brilliant is it it's, it's okay it's i think apparently you had terrible we're talking about uk here had terrible weather at the weekend but oh certainly some places did but um it's okay here it's dry it's just a bit cold i've actually got a blanket over my legs this morning hi carmen i'm good my free days yeah they were busy i'm exhausted carmen but um but yeah back on it today back at work lisa good morning and lynn hello how are you i don't want to miss anyone i've actually got facebook and youtube up in front of me at the time elaine uh hi right okay so good morning paula your real name is hang on there's a heart right in front of you your marie hello marie <laughs> Okay, so today is going to be probably part one of a um, a number of videos. It might just be two, who knows. It might, we might get it done in one, but I doubt it. Now, what I decided I'd like to do is take on a longer project. Um, and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to do it and sh talk you through as I do it at the same time, because why not? Um, so you'll see it beginning to end, certainly starting today maybe finishing off next week but it's a, a bit like a printer's tray a vintage printer's tray that i want to have displayed on my craft room wall when it's all done haven't started it yet we are starting soon we are starting soon i've just got the issue of storage at the minute where am i going to put everything while we do the craft room so i'm going to be using the uh simply made crafts let me grab it from you still still got my air, airport sweeties here with me <laughs> but we're going. I'm going to be using the uh, Simply Made Crafts Last Shadow Box frame from her winter, uh, Helen's Winter Sparkle Collection um, launch because I used that when I did a. Do you want to see my uh, airport sweeties actually? Because they happen to be here. Um, I did a a Barbie inspired box for craft stash. I've chucked, for some reason I've just chucked my sweeties in there. <laughs> but, um, but this. But let's take these out of the way. Look, they're my snacks. Um, but this box, I just thought, do you know what, it's really sturdy and I really liked it and I like the idea but I want to make kind of an A4 version with compartments in so it's a bit like a printer's tray and I want to fill it with vintage looking, so butterflies, florals, um, who knows, who knows, I think I might end up even doing like a space a day or something like that but I've made a start because this is going to take me a while and you might get a little bit bored this morning um but i've made a start but i do still need to do lots more so i'm starting with the frame now i've got this piece of cardstock as well this is a bit of cardboard that came on the back of a 12 by 12 paper pad so it's quite sturdy so i think this is going to be my base to put everything on but like i say i'm pretty much besides the little bits you can see here that i've already done that i'm going to do another one of now anyway so you can see i'm pretty much starting from scratch it's all going to be paper based a few little metal embellishments in there but to be honest i need to dig out my metal embellishments from um my other studio anyway so that certainly won't be today um let me see make sure i've not missed any comments <clears throat> excuse me hello shelly how are you hope your long went weekend away went well it did it went very well thank you hello sam good morning sam not spoken to you this morning oh no we messaged i lie sorry um hi sue yeah, love the paper. I'm going to show you how I did this as well. Apollo, uh, Apollonia. Uh, Apollonia. Is that how I'm saying your name? Is that correct? Hello from Germany. I hope I haven't really offended you there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lisa Neal, hello. Um, where can we purchase the die, please? There is a pinned comment, a pinned comment in the comments, Linda. It takes you through to Craft Stash. It's there. If you go onto Craft Stash through that link, Go to craft brands and simply made crafts 
you'll find Helen's Winter Sparkle collection there. Alternatively, just go onto the Craft Stash homepage again through that link and put Winter Sparkle in the search bar and it should come up with all the uh, Simply Made Crafts Winter Sparkle collection and this frame die set is there. Uh, what colour will your craft studio be? Probably white with lots of teal. Teal, blue, trees is my favourite colour, so I'm probably going to have accents of that. But there's going to be lots of rainbow because my card stocks, my inks, everything's going to be out on display, my blending brushes, and they're all rainbow colours, so lots and lots of colour in there. But essentially I'm going to do it white to start with. My husband's already got lots of plans for the electric, so I haven't got to worry about that part. Um, looking forward to whatever. Okay, so let's get, hello Alison Blake, let's get started. Elaine Delworth, good morning, and Elizabeth Bedwell, love that die set, yeah. So, what I've done to start creating these is I've created a wood grain background. Now, you, if you saw my um, Friday five minute makes, so I've got my midweek makes on a Wednesday, and then I've got Friday five minute makes on a Friday, um, I created a wood grain effect. So I'm going to do that again on this. But this is a cardstock called I think the colour is called Mushroom. I actually got this from Lime Tree Crafts, which is... I don't usually order from them. It's only if I see them at a craft show I go and I get lots of cardstock I pick up. There's a few colours that I love. I love the Mushroom. It's a bit like craft, but it's just ever so slightly paler. It's got a warmer tone to it. Hi, Joanne from New Zealand. Um, so... I get this one, I get there's a really, really dark navy blue I get from them, and there's a lovely burgundy colour as well that I also get from them. So, um, yeah, I'm just checking, you can all see, okay, looks okay. So, I've got tea dye in oxide on here. You can do this with Distress Inks as well, and I'm just dragging my ink pad down, like so. I am going to have to bring in my large Sizzix machine. Talking of Sizzix, did anyone manage to get hold of the scoreboard? Um, and This is a vintage photo, this one. Did anyone manage to get hold of the scoreboard trimmer that was um, available for VIPs yesterday? Because it's sold out already. It's amazing. We put a video up on the Craft Stash channel. Um, it's such a good tool. Um, if you're a VIP, you had first access to it and it's sold out. So it's well worth being a VIP. If you're considering it, anybody, um, $9.99 for the year if you're in the UK, $14.99 elsewhere, um, yeah, things like that, getting offers. That that product hasn't launched on the Craft Stash website yet, it's only ever been on TV where it also sold out, so um, yeah, really good tool to have, but also a really good shout for being a VIP. Uh, thank you, Joanne, it looks incredible, yeah, it's really nice, isn't it, so just so you can see the difference, though when it dries let me scoot back so I can see if I'm showing you correctly when it dries I just realized right I'm gonna move my microphone back a little bit because you've got a bit of a shadow there from it that's better hopefully you can still hear me okay um, so when it dries you get that oxidized look which is what uh, distress oxides do um, so you can see the difference between one that's or some that have dried and some that haven't so it's a little bit darker at the moment but they will kind of oxidize and I think actually I think this one might have got a little bit of water on it perhaps maybe maybe not I'm not sure it might just be uh, the ink as it reacts normally in the air so I'm going to bring in it's going to be a bit noisy and it's going to be clunky but I'm going to bring in my A4 die cutting machine oh, so Barcelona was amazing um, really really lovely to firstly sorry it's so big and it's so dirty look but I need to do this um, it was absolutely um, an amazing city, lots and lots to see. The weather wasn't great, but it didn't matter too much. So I'm going to cut this large die here. I'm just going to pop that in there and cut that out. So yeah, it was such a lovely city. We managed to get around a lot. The metro, if anyone's thinking of visiting, the metro was so worth getting the hang of and buying a three-day ticket for because we managed to get to all the um, places that we wanted to get to really quickly without lots of... We did some walking, we did... Oh, hang on. There we go. We're through. <laughs> we did walk through some neighbourhoods um, just to get a feel for the city, you know, the apartments and what sort of it would be like to live there not that we're planning on it but you know you like to I like to get a feel for places 
what it would be like to live there when I visit anywhere because you only ever get the tourist parts otherwise. Um, we did we did all the main attractions, the cathedrals and the uh, the houses, very much an architectural city, so much to see, so definitely recommend. I don't know if I could spend a week there. I think it's just too busy for me. If I was going to spend a week, I'd, I'd be out of the out of Barcelona. I'd spend a bit of time in the rural Spain, relaxing, you know, maybe a villa with a pool <laughs> or something like that. And then I'd visit the city for a couple of days um, because I don't like hustle and bustle too much. Okay, so now the plan is to make things easier. I'm going to make this an A4 size box. So this is kind of going to be one of my long edges. Let me just grab my cardstock. Oh, there it is. So this is the uh, the warm mushroom cardstock that I've used. And um, so this is A4. So it's going to be a little bit smaller than A4, but not not a lot. So just so that my front panel, which is going to be a door, can be made out of one sheet. I'm going to have an acetate door on the front. Um, Let's just swipe and have a look at some comments. So clever, looks incredible, blah, 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 well used. So sorry you're late. Do not worry. What order were you placing, Stacey? What have you got coming? Um, thank you, Elizabeth. She bought the scissors board from CNC. Would have waited if you knew craft stash were going to have it. <laughs> well, that's the thing, though, isn't it? We, who knows? I know we've got some special uh, Crafters Companion deals coming up on VIP. Uh, Paper Rose, we've just got some new products launched today on um, on Craft Stash. We're going to have a VIP offer on those coming up very soon. Uh, Vicky on Facebook. Um, Vicky, you love the new school board. Yeah, it's so clever, isn't it? Gianna, good morning. Tammy, hello to you. Um, it's 220 GSM, Sarah. So, yeah, really lovely. Um, Lime Tree Crafts do do lots of different. Um, that's in the UK, obviously. But they do lots of different variations of weights. Um, but there's just a few. Most of my cardstock comes from Craft Stash. Um, I love the the new coloured cardstock pack that they do. Hi Leanne. Um, do do do. Hi Sandy as well. And Mary Spicer. Good morning. I love Craft Stash card cardstock, but you know they can't stock every colour. And there's just a couple of colours that I do love to grab time and time and time again. Anyone got any crack? <laughs> that is, that's like, um, I mean, I don't use that word, Leanne. That's like news, isn't it? News, gossip, that sort of word. Is that, does that what it, is that what it means? I think so. Love lime tree crafts, yeah. So, so there we go. What am I doing? Right, so I'm going to make this kind of A4. So I'm going to use this as a guide. And these are going to be my, so I need two longer pieces. And then two of these I'm going to need to cut down for the width, which is going to be, if you imagine, that will sit in there. I need, I'm just trying to think, because that would be, this would be the, the end of one piece. Okay, so, I think, it doesn't matter exactly, it doesn't have to be exactly A4 at all, because of course the length isn't going to be anyway, but I want to make it roughly. Like I say, just going to make it easier. So just to tease you all, I do have my very own uh, scoreboard that Sizzix gifted me, which I'm very, very pleased with. Um, absolutely love it. So this is what the VIPs grabbed, and uh, it did sell out very quickly. Um, but it's brilliant. Yeah. So little bits like this, I'm not going to throw away. I might use them later or on another project. I mean, that would be a really quick card. Imagine that as a piece of panel on an, a white card base uh, and then just a black silhouette of a leaf or a flower or something and a little stamp sentiment. Quick, quick cards, the sort of thing you'd see in my um, five minute makes. You can, again, you can still see the difference between the one that I inked earlier uh, when I was actually planning and preparing and the one that I have just done with you so just pop this in there I didn't actually measure it should do shouldn't I I should let's measure it because if anyone else wants to follow this along so the let's go by the doo -doo -doo. it's just over eight inches so you could do it by eight inches there um, 
from this top tab. I'm ignoring this tab because this bit will fold over. So from this top line here, just over eight inches. Yeah. Let's do the same here. When I say just over, that's rubbish, isn't it? Louise, that's ridiculous. Other people like to measure properly. So eight and, uh, what is that? So that's not a quarter, an eighth. Eight and an eighth of an inch. We'll get there. Oop, just squeeze it in there. There we go. Eight and an eighth. There. So again, I've got a nice piece there. Oh, I've lost a, I've lost my hole punch. I'm not sure where that's gone. Right, so let's start constructing this frame. I've already started scoring and putting some tape on. It's just to speed things up. So we'll do the two long pieces. Now when you look at these, I mean if you just type in printer's tray, or vintage printer's tray on something like Pinterest, there's so much comes up. You could do it all different themes. And I thought, I'm, I'm just going to put lots of little things that I like in there. Hi Vicky, how are you? Good morning Jenny, you're late again. Don't worry, there's no, no one's late here. I'm just grateful you've joined us. Um, Leanne, first day in your craft room in ages, you've been doing an at home rehab thing to get off tramadol and my hands have only settled from shaking. Well I hope you're feeling better soon and get some crafting done Leanne. Um, Elizabeth. Oh yeah, I've read that one. I've read that one. Let's see. Um, Stacy, you've got Dawn Baby's Creations Winter Icon Collection, her glue pearl and glitter card, and also stuff from Craft Bali for some Halloween stamps. Oh, you've got lots to be getting on with. Lou, would this work with the tonic? I haven't seen the tonic shadow box die, um, but I don't see why not. If it's a shadow box die, I'd imagine it probably will. I'm just using this one because I love it. Okay, so what have I done there? I've just folded that. So the beauty of these is once you've got some tape on one of the tabs, you can fold fold that over and you can literally fold this in half and it lines up so you can fold it flat. There we go. So I've got two of my boxes and then I've got my other two short ones which I haven't put tape on yet for obvious reasons. Now one thing I did want to do is actually get my um, glue gun, hot glue gun ready for construction because I think that might be a little bit stronger than anything else that I might use. So let me just dig that out. I say dig it out, I know where it should be, but it's hiding. There it is. Ooh, there. So let's pop this plug socket here. My husband's going to be putting uh, sockets in the floor for me. Uh, there we go, that's one. That's a Sizzix one as well. I quite like Sizzix, quite a fan of Sizzix. Um, so my husband's going to be putting plug sockets in the floor for me when we start in this room. But like I say, the big the, the issue we've got at the moment is where do I put everything and how do I craft and do my day job while this room is empty? Because I've been in here for months and it, I did start with just a little desk and a few boxes uh, and gradually it's kind of built up. Um, I've just done that the opposite way to what I said to do it. There we go, fold that over. And you can, there we go, so we've got a shorter piece. There we go, and one more. Starting to, so this is the dark one. It's start, I can start to see that sort of oxidization happening. But I just love the wood grain effect. I haven't, oh, I haven't folded this one. Okay, let's put this on first anyway. There we go. So I presume, um, Sam, if you're still about, are you on at two o'clock? Printer's tray is what they use for typesetting. Yes, so uh, there's an amazing um, print, printer, old-fashioned printer near us. Um, you've got three wooden printer block, block, blocks in your place. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I need to go back and see what that is. Filled with bits and bobs. Do you know what I love? I love, love, love the actual printer's blocks, the uh, letters. I think they're amazing and I would love to find those uh, 
my so my name Lou Collins Crafts or something like that and have those in the background in my studio somewhere I think that would be so cool so that's something I'm on the lookout for but there's there's a printer kind of near me about less than an hour from me who I've visited before and watching him print is amazing but seeing his stash of different letters I actually visited him to do an interview when I was doing uh, simply made uh, simply made simply lettering magazine when I was editing that I did an interview with him took lots of photos and it was just amazing I just love to see all those letters and blocks and how he builds them up and then puts the ink on and um, so I always used to say my husband was a traditional printer years ago uh, or when I met him and I always used to say to him oh you've got paint on your fingers and he would go no it's not paint it's ink and it was like whoa okay it's ink okay darling <laughs> um, right so now I need to put this together so you have the the butt end as such the, the blank end and that slots in to the the upper end as I like to say it so you'll then have this mitered corner on the front like so okay so what I'm going to do is put a little oh, I've got got some dribbles there oh, that will dry in a moment right so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom there and a little bit on the top there now Helen probably would say hot glue is not the best thing to construct this with if it was going to be something like an album but this is just going to be on display so no one's going to be fiddling around with it I hope not anyway I'm sure they won't so there's one and then because this is a straight edge here I'm going to put do the same put this one in I'm going to get glue strings everywhere I'm sure they slot together really nice and easily haven't really got a plan for the inside yet I know the sort of color scheme I want to go for any guesses what colors I'd like to go for oh I've put this one on the wrong way round. uh oh uh oh uh oh okay let's take this off quick 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 can I can I take it off you get to see the mistakes now as well when I say the wrong that's good because that was glued on the inside so that's fine when I say the wrong way round this bit was facing outwards and I need it to be this way so um yeah any guesses on the color that I'm going to be using colors that I'm going to be using for this so it's going to be in my craft room now I want it to just represent me and the styles and imagery and things that I love so which is why I'm not going to rough, rush it Vicky I'm making a like a printer's tray it's basically a piece of home decor it's going to be just a decorative piece that I'm going to put in my craft room um, I'm going to make it from scratch so I'm using Helen's uh, shadow box frame frame box I'm not sure what the word is now I said it earlier but I'm not going to look isn't it funny how quickly you learn from mistakes because just there I just very quickly double checked the direction that I was putting this one on in in on on in yeah yes, like that. There we go. and now I just need to do this one it's quite tight now it's... if you're doing wet glue you'd have a bit more space so let's see teal 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 yeah I'm going to do vintage colors and neutrals I'm just going to turn my glue gun off for a minute because it does it never used to it does now drip uh, glue glue but I think that's the glue sticks I think the glue sticks melt at a lower temperature because they were inexpensive ones that I got lots and lots of so there's my box I think that's kind of right angles but I'll make sure it is so I want to make a base to put this on so like I say the cardstock underneath is a bit like grey board but it's a really strong chipboard and this is from uh, the back of a crafter's companion uh, 12 by 12 paper pack so really handy you could use something like a cereal box I'm just going to roughly mark the length and the width of this and I don't mind if there's some rough bits because it is going to be just me looking at it now for this I'm going to need to use let's find a ruler no let's let's shall we see 
I don't think I can, but what I'd like to do is just mark the chipboard with my trimmer. I don't think I'm going to be able to trim with it and it might blunt the blade if I did, but I'd like to just give it a mark so I could maybe just use them use my scissors on it. So let's see. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yay, it went through. Okay, and actually, I wanted to do that a little bit smaller than my mark. So I've got my mark and I wanted to go just a little bit inside so I didn't have an overlap. So I might have to cut a sliver off. Cut a tiny sliver more off. I'm holding it down still. There we go. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't expect the trimmer to go through chipboard. Like I say, I may have possibly done some damage to my blade there but I'm sure there will be replacements in the future because I know well there is a, actually there's a replacement blade in the box okay now I'll be covering this before I glue it on I think but this way I'll be able to make sure that the frame is nice and square there we go okay happy with that so far um, let's do something for the back because I want the back to all pretty much look the same. So I need an, like an ivory colour, I think. Um, no, that's shimmery. I don't want shimmery. Oh, here's. I think this came from the Craft Stash, uh, the Creative Craft Products um, monotone, monotone um, cardstocks. So let's get inky. Just a little bit. Wouldn't be alive with me unless we got some inking going so what are we going to do let's move anything out the way that doesn't want to get wet for now let's give this a spritz let's give it a little bit of a spritz with some distress oxide spray just to give it some texture Let's get stamping on it as well. I've got lots of stamps, bear with me. Let's grab some of those. Um, my favourite one, my favourite, favourite stamp. That one. Now, like I say, as lots of you know, this one is out of stock now, but hopefully it won't be long and we'll get something similar back in. I say that, I know there's something similar coming back in. Now, this is going to be... Um, this is going to be, what's the word, landscape. Just doing some text like so. And because it's wet, lovely. Okay, Don't, I'm not worried about my mat. I can, um, I can wipe all that afterwards. Right, so there's some book print on there. What else do I want? Do you know what I've got not used for ages? And I spotted them. They're still in stock, I think. And that's stencils. These stencils. The uh, copy ring ones are still in stock. So let's do a few of these. Uh, loving it so far. Teal, yes, absolutely, Lynn partner sorting out a splashback for my desk to protect my white walls yeah I think I might need to do that <laughs> I think so I think hello Julie how are you hello hope you had a lovely weekend away I absolutely did um let's do one in the bottom corner let's do one in the top corner a lot of this won't be seen to be honest Let's do one there, and let's do another one, and some splats up here. A lot of this is just going to be blocked off, um, but I just wanted some pattern in the background. That needs a wash. My partner uh, read that. If you didn't have the Distress Oxide Spray, what option do you recommend? You can, oh, there's so many things you can do. You could mix a little bit of acrylic paint with water, and either put it into a spray bottle if you've got a big enough um what's the like the tube inside 
you could do that. You could flick off of a paintbrush. You could put some of your, you might, if you've got other water-based inks, you could squidge them onto a mat, spray with water, water it all down and flick it all on. Um, there's loads of different ways of adding colour. Even watercolour pencils, you could scribble onto a piece of paper, put loads of water on and then pick it up with a brush and flick it. Um, any other inks, you don't have to have oxide sprays. Um, there are other ink sprays available, of course. I just had that to hand, it was a brown. Um, hopefully that's given you some options. Um, right, let me see. I'm still here. Still here, just looking for something. Do you know what? I've got so much. Okay, one more. Oh, there's a heart and then this background will be done. Let's do it with black. I love these little postage signs. So this is a postage stamp stamp. And this came, I think this is sold, has it sold out? It may, may have done, but it came from my Paris romance collection ages ago. There we go. A little bit more. Can't get much more from that, can I? <laughs> okay, so there's my background. There's one more. So I'm kind of making a pile over there of things to um, wash when I'm done. Speaking of wash, let's just give my mat a wipe. So bottle of water. Give it all a little bit of a wipe down. How am I doing for time? Oh, half an hour probably get the box made today maybe get one or two of the little compartments decorated who knows and then I'll probably continue this next week isn't it nice to actually have a plan though it makes a difference for me right put that in there I do like to try and put away as I go but it doesn't always happen Right, so book binding glue, craft stash book binding glue, absolutely love this. At the moment the craft stash, the normal wet glue has sold out. So, oh, I just realised, is this A4? Yeah, that's okay. That's okay, it's just shorter, isn't it? Um, the normal craft stash glue, which is these ones, last time I looked it had sold out, but this is a really good alternative for book binding glue. Uh, glad you're good, Julie. If you're watching this close, you've agreed to make your sister a feature with butterflies. Ah, so I will be adding butterflies to this because um, I love my floral folk art butterflies. I've also got lots of butterflies within the Mariposa um, collection. So let's pop this down. I'll cut the edges off. Like I say, you might need to join me next week. It's not too bad. There we go. Now the edges don't matter too much. They're going to be covered over with the frame. It's Wednesday already. I took yesterday off. We did get held up in the airport palaver, unfortunately. But not too bad. Not too badly. We got a delay. Bit of a panic though because nobody knew what was going on at the time. It was all brand new. It was literally the day of the um, air traffic control issues. So everybody was just as confused as anybody else. Even the staff didn't know what was happening. So uh, it was a bit scary. Well, scary, but it was a bit of a worry. Sort of, oh, how are we going to get home? Right now, let's just see, make sure this is straight. I know my chipboard is straight. So I want to make sure that my box is, it's still a little bit bigger. I expected it to be, I'm going to take some scissors to it. I expected it to be uh, shorter than my frame. Somehow I still managed to cut it a little bit big. So I'm just going to trim these edges off. Oh, do you know what? It's a lot harder to get through with scissors, even big ones. That's not so bad than it was with the trimmer. The trimmer was just like hot knife through butter which would have been nice this morning except our butter was rock hard 
Okay, so the next thing I need to do, good morning Simone, how are you? Do never apologize for being late. I don't mind at all, it's completely optional to be here. I just love that you join us. Hello Karen, how are you? And fellow crafters, I love that. Uh, Angela Mitchell, thank you very much. Um, Joanne Lynn, good, good, good. Sandra, love it, lovely. Especially with the square round the letter, yep. Um, what about some letters that are by themselves and they could be like a block that was someone will use for printing? Yeah, so basically printer's blocks, that's what I really want in my craft room eventually. Now I need to add in the dividers. Don't really know yet how I'm gonna do this. I'm thinking it might be best if I actually use or reuse some of these. Hang on, let me grab them. So these are like the scraps from I don't know if I want them a bit thicker though do you know what I'm going to take inspiration from this frame okay these are a bit deep for the dividers I want them smaller so let's try it with two of them I'd like to make see my brain's working but I can't explain it so let me work it out <laughs> I might have to, it might be easier to do with a clean piece of cardstock actually, and then I'll just do the same, the same sort of treatment. So, so what I'm thinking is if I basically follow the sort of the score lines that we had for these, but do my own. So let's bring, um, see, yeah, I'm gonna bring in the scoreboard. It's sold out, I apologize. No, let's not. Let's not, that's cruel. Let's bring, now I have, let's go back to the, this one. Right, so the first thing I need to do is two, pan, two pieces that go across the width. So I'm thinking I need tabs. I can hear my dog upstairs, right? I can hear my dog upstairs, and you know when they're asleep and they're barking in their sleep and they're doing this little yapping, it's really cute. Um, I can hear my dog doing that. So I want these slimmer, so they're gonna need tabs. Let's do half a centimeter, a score line. Then let's do, I'm trying to remember what the die was like. So basically I'm going to recreate this slightly smaller, so half a centimeter there. And then the depth on these ones, don't want it quite as deep. But not too far off so the depth is about six centimeters let's turn it around yeah let's go six centimeters i think that looks a bit big it looks far too big let's go four centimeters oh do you know what louise get a ruler and measure so, right, five centimetres. <laughs> Let go in between the two. So I'm going from my score line, five centimetres. Okay. Then I need another half a centimetre, don't I? It's a little bit harder because I can't see. Then I need another five centimetres. And then I need another half centimetre. So it's half five, half five, half five. No, half five, half five, half. Oh, that one can be trimmed off. Yeah, okay, so let's just fold this first and make sure that it works before I cut another one. Where's my bone folder gone? I remember seeing it and I remember picking glue off of it. And it had some hot glue on it, there it is. I've got too many sweeties around here at the moment. Now these half centimetre ones are going to be quite slim right there we go I haven't needed to use that at all oh that's that's cool yeah I think that worked I think I did it a little bit it's not quite right I'm mismeasured there so I need to take about another half centimeter off there for some reason it'll work it'll work on the next one just a little bit 
just mismeasured and I suppose this is the issue with when you're scoring like this and you can't see so let's take that end off right so fold this over I'll probably use red liner tape I might use wet glue actually I'll have some give there we go that's better that will fit I think so I've got myself need to cut it trim it down to size with a pencil I have a lovely toolbox right and I just don't use it I don't put things back in it so I lose everything pencil 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 have I used a pencil today though I'm not sure I have okay so let's see can't wait to see this evolve yeah you and me both trees Hi Jackie, how are you from Australia? Right, so let's see, we are at 18, 18 and three quarters of a centimetre. 18 and three quarters. Like I say, I'll get one done. I need to pull this out. And then if that's work, I can do another one. 18 and three quarters. Du, 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 du. Sorry if that clicking of the trimmer is like really loud. I feel like it is. So I'm going to treat it in exactly the same way because all sides will be seen. So dragging my ink pad to create that sort of wood grain effect. Where's that bit of tissue? There we go. I had a look for some more of these photography backgrounds this morning and I couldn't find any. I'm not sure where they've gone. Right, I said wet glue, didn't I? I'm going to try wet glue on these. I think I'll do the bigger panel. Bigger panel here, so just gluing along that tab. sticking it down the same way as I did with the um, larger ones, the Simply Made Craft ones. Right, how are we doing? There we go. Now hopefully, hopefully that will stay now. Ah. Let's put this die away and that will pop it in there. Ta-da! I have my first one. Really cool. Okay, so I can recreate another one of those. Can you see that, everybody? Yeah, we're getting there. Now, is this the right way up as well? Yep. Okay, so do you know what? I think I'm just going to glue this in. It's just going to glue it in now because printer's trays have all different size compartments. So it's probably not the end of the world if it's not exactly a third of the way along just want to make sure it's straight so I've just used hot glue all the way along the bottom and a little bit at the edge now you can buy ready-made printers trays that you just decorate which are nice but I definitely prefer to make my own there we go there's my first little compartment so anyone remember the sizes <laughs> 18 and three quarters half a centimeter and five centimeters does that sound about right so it was 18 and three quarters in length Let's check yep and then so that's the length and then so we need to do put my cutting blade at the top half a centimetre 
Right, so let's do it this way. So if it's half a centimetre and five, it'll go on the five and a half mark. It's a lot easier to remember, isn't it? Then it'll go to six because we need another half centimetre. Then it'll go to 11, which will be the five. Six, well, yep, just make sure my maths is correct. And then another half. Now, why didn't I do it that way last time? And that's a cut. So we've got half centimetre, five centimetres, half, five, half. Right. Well, that seemed a lot easier, didn't it, that way? <laughs> this is going to have a... Um, oops. Oh, well. This is going to have an acetate window over the top as well that can be sort of lifted up. So that's another... Th section I have to do like a door over the front give this all a wipe while that dries there okay so glue gun still on and making everything sticky I'm getting what looks like fake tan on my, on my fingers I promise you it's ink you can see the ink's still wet but it's fine adds to the effect does anyone think does anyone think they might actually recreate this you've got three photography backgrounds on Amazon they're double sided yes I saw that they're about 20 something pound aren't they Simone I'm sure I got this one which is two double it is double sided I can't tell you what's on the other side it's another white wood grain sort of look um, I'm sure I got just this one for about seven pounds something but I might be wrong and it was probably a couple of years ago now so I might have to just put my hand in my pocket and buy the, the pack of six but yes I did see those ones coming together now you missed the beginning <laughs> honestly the beginning's funny Julie I love how you make the wooden background thank you yeah it's really easy I did it in my uh, Friday five minutes makes video that wasn't dry don't move that just yet Give that a second just dragging you can do it different colors so you could do it like the pale blue something like weathered wood and tumbled glass on a white cardstock and then you get a really nice um sort of a, a really nice white wood what's it called whitewashed wood effect i'm gonna have to give this a really good clean you see where i've got glue on it the ink sticks to the glue right that's better that one's a bit drier now i think think stand this up and twist it okay so that one's going to go in there out there do, 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 do. how's the microphone everyone i've found this microphone to be a little bit quiet i have to turn the volume up on it quite a lot but it's supposed to be quite a good microphone so hopefully you can all hear me okay that's a little bit off isn't it ah it's a little bit not straight right. so I'm going to have side panels how not straight is that crazy crazy not straight Oh, do you know what? It's not actually stuck down. Is that better? That looks better, doesn't it? I'm not too fussy about it being perfectly straight. It is It is starting to come together. Now, that see, this section is a little bit smaller than this, and definitely this, but it's fine. I'm going to have all different panels. So I think... I'll have a centre one here, a centre one here, and then I'll have two here. I might even do some smaller ones. So let's see what I can do. So they all need to be... This isn't going to be big enough, is it? It's tall enough. It's not. None of this is going to be big enough. I'm going to have to do another piece okay so we've got this I need quite a lot to wrap round is this going to fit anywhere no so if you look up 
if you need inspiration for sort of your, the composition, the frame, all the compartments, just take a look at printer's trays on Pinterest. There's loads, loads and loads. Right, let's see how quickly we can bash some of these out, shall we? So I'm going to do, uh, not cutting, half a centimetre, and then let's come over here. So then, five and a half, so keep everything the same height, then six, then 11, and then 11 and a half, and cut. So there's one, let's do another one. And we'll see what we need to cut these down by. Ah, uh, don't cut, 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 trimmer. Anyone else do that when you have got a trimmer that does both cutting and scoring? Always doing it. Forgetting which blade I need to be using. And there's my half. Then there's my 11. Okay, I'm doing this right. And then there's my half. Oh, that needs to be a cut. There we go. So I've now got two more. We'll start adding side panels. See, I'd never get this done in an hour, would I? The decorating's going to be so much fun. So there's one. Put that to the side. I don't know how much ink this uses, this sort of dragging technique. I imagine quite a lot but it's okay it's worth it it will be worth it right I just dropped a piece bear with me there we go okay let's give this a wipe whilst allowing those to dry lovely okay Right, let's see some comments, shall we? Scrap Nuri, good morning. Oh, yeah, you're good morning, aren't you? Because you're an hour in front. Um, softer sounding microphone, but clear. I'm glad it's clear. Hello, Deb. Don't worry about being late at all. Joanne, hello from Sydney, Australia. Manish schnauzers snore like old men. Where has that come from? I've missed some conversation there. Michelle, when our ch uh, chinchilla is asleep, it will sometimes make noises that are like warning barks. Oh, of course, I was talking about... Hello, Jackie. Uh, I was talking about the dog making little yaps, yeah. Can you increase the volume output in your settings in the microphone? Uh, I can do it. Sorry, I don't know who said that. Let me scroll up. Uh, Simone, I have already increased it. The worry is if I increase it too much, you kind of get this horrible reverb. Isn't that nice? Hi, Monica. Are you n Monica, are you away on holiday? Are you sneaking in or are you back now? I thought you were away. But did you have a lovely time anyway? I had a little, oh, here it is. Now let's do glue. Um, looking good so far, thank you. It's a bit time consuming this bit, but I thought you might appreciate actually seeing it all done in real time rather than me saying, so I've done this and now I'm going to decorate it. <laughs> so fold it, oh, that's come undone. No, let's just, no, they're not heavy enough, come on. Because the ink's wet or the ink has made the cards look a little bit damp, just takes a little bit longer to grip onto the cardstock. One. Two. Oh yes, you're still away. Oh well, thank you for joining, even though you're on holiday. You're in Poland, aren't you? Right. Just pop these ones down. I'm going to measure these and work out what size they need to be in a moment. the lid back on my glue in fact I need to swap over um, so that I've got my glue pins from Simone in 
that book binding glue pot because at the minute they're in another one. Right. So, how do I measure? I don't like measuring things. I prefer to do things by eye. So seven and a half centimetres for this one. Because I can flatten it because that's just the beauty of this. Make sure that's straight. Which ones are going to be uh, I think I'll dry run these before I glue them in because then I can sort of move things about a little bit again seven and a half just making sure because it might not be straight seven and a half making them ever so slightly longer than they need to be just so they're a nice tight fit Now this one's a bit small but it might be a nice little one for in between perhaps you see what i mean about the dry run if i it's what helen calls it isn't it helen griffin when she puts things together she says do a dry run like that there we go oh how exciting um and i think i'll have one this has come un unglued. It's still tacky though, so it's fine. Right, so I was going to have, yeah, I think one across the middle so I can have some bigger elements. So this one is eight, almost eight and a half. See what it looks like from above we're getting now I'm feeling that this is a bit too much for it maybe if I do this and then copy echo this on this side but then with a smaller compartment at the top what do we think hmm yeah I think so I think so I haven't got a lot left to play with here so I'm going to measure. I'll have to do another one, won't I? I have to do one more. Six and a half this size, so it is a bit smaller. So six and a half. Whoop. Like I say, I want to do them ever so slightly larger so they're a nice tight, tight fit. There. This one's not going to be wide enough, so this could be, oh, putting it in completely the wrong way. But by keeping that five centimeter distance or width, all of this is, should be all the same height. There we go. I quite like that long one at the moment I'm just thinking I've got the option for something quite tall there if I want it what do we think I better come back to the comments um, do, 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 do. yeah the CCP items Monica are brilliant aren't they I'm thinking I think at the moment I'm going I'm going to oh that's a nice idea actually as well is to bring this in so it's make yeah and even this doesn't have to no. there so it's not so there's nothing even about it does that make sense so it's yeah I quite like that I think I've got lots of different sized spaces then anyone got any other suggestions or what do you think I like the different heights this is good yeah I'm seeing this and thinking it would be great for a drawer divide if you're on elastic pads. Yeah, because you could move it about. 
Uh, yeah, looking good. Laurie, you're still with me. You were here first on YouTube, I think. All the different sizes add interest. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna glue those those ones down now, starting in the middle. I'll probably kick myself. Let's just do. Let's just do the bottom. Um, about. I actually need to put this so I can see what you see because that's a better view than me looking at it from this way. Um, right, I think I'll glue this one in first. So that I've got the height for this. That one's not straight, is it? Oh, I tell you what, hot glue dries so ridiculously quickly. Yeah. Okay, I'm going a bit quiet now, sorry, just while I'm concentrating. I'm getting everything straight. Is that one glued down? No. I thought it was for a minute then. And this one in here. Oh, those of you who have joined uh, my group on Facebook, um, I set up a group because I'm going to be selling off some of my craft supplies and the profits obviously once I've paid for postage and everything out of it I'm going to um, the profits going to go to charity so I'll choose a different charity each month and I'll just send them off um, whatever I've made from those sales but there's a group I sort of say there's 200 and something people joined already um, I will start uploading things soon obviously being away that was probably probably a silly thing for me to start uh, just before going away but I did so I'll start adding things very very soon there'll be all sorts there'll be everything from all the craft stash brands anyone wondering I do have permission from craft stash to sell on the older items that I've got there that I no longer use you're thinking how could she do that <laughs> I have had permission because at the end of the day when items are dis oh my glue's running out when items are discontinued we can't sell them anymore not as new not on the website there we go oh look I've gone past I've gone past um, 11 o'clock so I think that's a pretty good place to stop this would be really cool for Halloween wouldn't it I think I think I'll stop there today Sorry, it's not been very pretty or um, creative as such, but we've got the base ready now. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do, actually, while I think of it, is I'm going to take my ground espresso uh, and my brush, and I'm just going to brush over all these corners. This is the sort of thing I don't want to be doing once I've put things in. There's a few areas like this I'm going to add a bit more glue to, but I can now... Um, I can pop some wet glue on that and just kind of lean something on it and give it time to dry because I won't do any more to this until next week so I'll do it with you all if that's okay and just go along these edges so yeah there we go so thank you everyone for joining me like I say if you were going to purchase anything from craft stash I'd really love it if you could use the link that's pinned in the comments. Really must secure that one better. Um, and then I just get a small, a teeny tiny small amount of commission for that. Um, if you purchase anything, that's all. Lovely. Okay, well, thank you, everybody. Um, I'm, I'm saying I'm going, but I'm still going. <laughs> <laughs> I will stop now I will stop we will come back to this we will revisit this next week same time again Wednesday at 10 a.m. Um, right here YouTube and Facebook and what we'll do is we'll start decorating we'll start putting pretties inside some of these spaces um, I won't touch anything I won't do anything else to it until I'm back